Shanghai, China's city of lights. In the heady days of the 1920s and 30s, the city had a racy nightlife, with bars and clubs frequented by foreigners and wealthy locals. The party ended within a few decades when the communists closed off the country and shut down its nightclubs. But now it's back with a vengeance and a new generation of partygoers. It's new for them. They are full of energy. It's not static. Everything in the city is dynamic, especially nightlife. Shanghai is the country's financial and business centre, but it is also home to some of the world's hottest bars, where patrons mix in a haze of smoke, alcohol and music. Entrepreneurs from all over the world are coming here to open up restaurants, bars and nightclubs because they see it as the latest hot and happening city. A lot of, a, a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars and clubs in Shanghai stay open all night. So it's got that reputation as a place where if you want to party, you can party all through the night and, and go somewhere for breakfast. And that's the way it was back in the 30s as well. In many bars here, cocktails cost the same as in Europe or North America, putting these drinks out of reach of many. Yet the city has hundreds of bars, all vying to attract the city's wealthy young patrons. It's a country which is developing very quickly, and it offers a lot of personal and professional opportunities to young people. If you have the opportunity to be in China, you have to be here. And that's the message the city is hoping to get across to the world as it prepares for a barrage of visitors during the 2010 Shanghai Expo.